Hey guys, what is going on? It is Lazy Modding here, of course, with Lazy Modding. Today I'm going to kind of show you guys how to basically UDIM in Blender slash Giants Editor slash FS22. Uh, UDIM is kind of the way that uh, we are able to use built in textures within the game engine itself um, to be able to optimize stuff better and to set stuff up. Um, that could have like multiple different textures on one thing. So that's what we're going to do today. Um, it's going to be a fairly general tutorial. Um, should apply to about everything. So um, you're going to need Blender and you're going to need Giants Editor to be able to do this. Um, I expect you know how to get those. Um, but we are going to open up in Blender. Um, we're going to start with the general animation. It drops this cube here. It is a 2 meter by 2 meter by 2 meter cube. Um, and so it's got six sides and we are going to assign six different textures to it today. Um, so when you first get it, um, to make sure you do this right, make sure you, uh, zero out values. So over here you can sell how our scale is a different size. So, um, if you modified something, you can hit control A and it'll pop up the apply menu, uh, rotation and scale. And I will lock everything into place so now we have a 3.18 meter cube instead of a two meter cube so now that that's done the next thing that you want to be able to do is go and add a material to it you dim video is what we'll name it and just for funds we'll change it to uh we'll go with a red uh, so now if you actually view it into one of the modes, it is now a red cube. Um, but we're going to stay in just the solid mode for right now. Next thing up is you want to set it up to where, uh, that the corners will still look it. So, um, you can right click and hit shade smooth and it'll kind of do this, which isn't what you always want. Um, so then once you have that done, if you go to whatever this ob object data properties tab um, and hit normals um, and turn on auto smooth it will basically do the same thing as edge split but it doesn't add extra vertices and stuff like that so now that all that is done um, next thing up is we are going to uh, unwrap it via UV so um, you'll hit tab to enter edit mode or if you're not that well with it yet, object mode, edit, and it will automatically highlight all six faces to start out with. So we're gonna go up to UV, smart UV project. Uh, you can do zero point, or you can do that, or uh, most of the time I just do this value. Um, it works fairly decent on most things. Um, so whenever you do that, um, I just leave angle limit 66. Island margin just kind of puts uh, a space between things. Um, so there's not really a whole lot of overlap. Area weight, I just leave as one. Um, make sure correct aspect is checked because um, if you don't have it checked, your textures can look a little wonky. Um, scale to bounds, that's kind of an optional thing. I generally just don't. That way, so everything um, will remain... Um, how it should be so once you hit ok on that it will UV unwrap it you can see that by going to your UV tab up here at the top so now that we have that done um, if you click these two little arrows up here it will show all the UVs so then whenever you're messing around over here so like if I want to click on this top one it will show which one um, which you or which face is where at on the cube so um so now that we have that done um the next thing we are going to do is uh, to set different values for these um so i am using the giants plugin um that's available in giants developer network um and install that into blender all that should be done before um as i just don't have a tutorial for it nor do i want to make uh, this video any longer by trying to show that so First thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna select this face in this bottom corner. And now that we have it selected, Control U will bring up a UV uh, manager in relation to Giants I3D. 
Um, and we're going to go to pick you dims and it's going to bring up this menu that has different textures on it along with different color materials. Um, for today, I'm just going to use different color materials as it's just easier to do it that way. So we're going to sign this one color matte zero. Um, and then as you can see, it moved it down to uh, color matte zero. So there's basically a long line of different color mats that run over here. And as you assign each of these faces um, to those, that's where they'll go. So we'll kind of fly through this a little bit here. But so we're going to send that one to color mat one, color mat two, color mat three, color mat four, color mat five. So now that you see, and we have kind of all these different um, locations of these tiles, each of them are, are in their own UV grid. Um, so if you were to just put all these back together, they'd actually go right back into like that staircase look. So now that we have that done, um, the next thing we need to do is to export um, the cube out as a I3D. Um, so there's really two ways you can do this. Um, you have the Giants i3D exporter that comes with the plugin that you can use, or there is a uh, public version of an i3D exporter that uh, you can use as well. So in this case, I'm going to assume most of people would probably be using this, so that's what I will use. So uh, we're going to go there. Uh, we are in modding. I put a new file in here. You did And we're just going to name it cube underscore you down. and then we're going to hit set i3d file so that's going to save it right there uh, you can if you have a bunch of stuff you can name it um, different node names and stuff like that but we're not really going to use that right now so um, we're just going to export select it out um, by using that button and down here it says ex success it's been exported so the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to go to the file where we saved it at udem uh, here and as you can see it saved the udem file and the shapes file so we're going to go here and open up the cube underscore udem and you can see how it is a red material within giants editor itself now so um, you officially got in giants editor next thing we need to do is actually apply our material colors to this so as you can see it is still the material that we assigned it udim underscore video um first thing i do is just cast those on which that doesn't matter for this tutorial um shader source um you're gonna go and it's gonna be under your material editing tab if you don't see that go to window um, and material editing and it will pop this up you're gonna want to go find sh custom shader so hit the drop down shader source there'll be like a paper with a flash at the top right of it click that and it will bring you to uh if your game path is set correctly it will take you to your shaders file within farming simulator 22. Um, we're going to look for the vehicle shader today so that's what it is vehicle shader.xml we're going to open that up um, and it's going to apply a shader to it now we have different variations that we can choose um, most of the time when you're you dimming, you'll use, um, color mask. Um, uh, so it's like, I don't know, probably a third of the way down, two thirds of the way down. Um, and as you can see now the cube is all sorts of different colors other than just the one. So now that we have that pulled up, um, I'm going to load a, uh, a support website that um, another modder made so uh, assets.matrid.net um, this is open to anyone so this is how you can kind of find some materials stuff like that so um, that's what we're going to use for right now uh, so let's pull this up like this um, so we can kind of view uh, several things at the same time here. Perfect. Um, so let's say for our color side one, 
um, which is this very top face, as you can see the color change there. Um, we're gonna make that chrome. So that is going to be uh, UV value two. And as you can see, it changes it very shiny. So here's a quick note that you make sure you need to know is, so these are RGB values um, based on zero to one. With the, So that's basically a percentage of how much value. So um, for color mat one, uh, or color mat zero, my bad, uh, we are currently pulling pretty much 12% of the red RGB value. So this first column will be red um, as in R, the second column will be green, as in G. And then the last one will be blue, um, as in RGB. So, um, it and it goes across, so RGB. And then you got it there. Um, this last column is your material ID, um, which is just what we use here. So, um, if we wanted to make this like a red um, look to it, take this up to like 0.8. And now we have like a shiny red look to our cube. Um, so now we're gonna go and do color mat one, which is, looks like this face um, right here in front of us. So um, for that one, we're gonna do wood. So um, go over here to the material ID column and hit 14. Um, you can't really see it because it's black, but if we go and put 30% uh, of each value in, it should brighten it up a little bit. Um, I lied. I put more than that in. Um, pretty sure this is the right face. It might not be. Yeah, I don't think that's it. Um, there it is, right there on the bottom. Um, so as you can see, this is the default wood texture that is in FS22. Um, you can change around uh, the colors of this to get a different colored wood on it. Um, but for this instance, I'm just going to leave it like that. So um, we'll do a few others here. Um, so this one is this face here. Um, so we will we'll make that a reflective red. So we'll go 21 on it. Um, and as you can see, it gets like this texture of like what a reflector would look like. Um, and if we wanted to make it red, um, go zero, put one. Um, and now it is a reflective red material. So um, I would do them all, but I think you guys get the aspect of it. So um, just make sure that you guys put the vehicle shader on it, uh, cl select color mask, and then um, th your first column after dirt color will be reds. Second column is greens. Third column is blue. And fourth column will be your material ID. So anyway, I hope this video has helped you guys out a little bit understanding how to do um, UV mapping UDIM within um, Farming Simulator 2022. So thank you guys for tuning in. Um, if you don't mind, please do go and hit that uh, subscribe button on the channel and a like on this video. It would mean a lot to me, um, especially as we are trying to teach more people how to do this without them having their credit creativity locked up behind a wall. So yeah. Um, if you have any other comments for videos you would like to see, uh, feel free to drop those in the comments. Um, I will look at those and, um, see what I can't make. Of course, I don't know everything, so I can't make everything. Um, but, yeah, um, there's several of us that are working on getting more videos out. So uh, feel free to drop an ID or an idea uh, in the comments and we can see what we do. If there is a video out, I might link it. Um, that would say, should I help you guys out? But, yeah. So I hope this guys helped. Like I said, um, if you guys have any questions or have any issues, uh, feel free to drop a comment or you can message me on Discord or something like that. So, but, yeah, uh, have a great one, guys. Um, we'll see you again soon.